Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel for another video on Gran Turismo 7. We're back with the Super License Guide. It's part number three. So this will include the Super License 7, 8 and 9. 10 is already on the channel. The others are already on the channel for the other parts. So part one and two have been done there, including S License 1 through to 6. So if you're looking for any of them, do check out the playlist that is the Super License Guide. And yeah, they all should be in there along with all these now. So we're completely finished with the Super License Guide. So yeah, if you do enjoy these videos, they help you out. I appreciate it massively if you take the time to hit that like button because these videos do take quite a long time and hopefully they help you out in terms of improving your times or making sure you get that gold time needed to win the car that you get at the end of a complete, completing all gold. So starting off with we're at laguna you can see this is just um, a different view that we're watching at the moment but we're going to go into the four lap guide giving you some tips where to brake some tips on gearing trail braking and also the acceleration point so let's go straight into that and make sure you're going to get that gold license sorted so starting the lap obviously straight away into turn one we're going to be looking for our first braking reference which you're going to be looking at just before the number two board you can see it there there's a little shadow before the number two board that i used for a reference for braking so as we approach there you can see onto the brakes and we're going to be a very aggressive on these brakes and downshifts into this corner so down through the gears trail braking all the way into the apex here and then when we're on the apex we're going to downshift the first gear to get the rotation and then straight back up to second gear this is going to give us a traction for the exit and we're going to rotate onto that curb there just skimming the curb on the left hand side and then early upshift to third gear on the exit use a full width for the track and then this next right hand corner we're going to really chuck it in you're going to see Downshift into third gear, just breaking in between the number one and the two board, right in the middle pretty much, and trail brake all the way into the apex. You can see just a brief bit of trail brake, and then on the throttle nice and early, you can see the throttle input's going in already. We're trying to clip the curb on the right hand side in third gear, accelerate out the corner, use the track width again, upshift to fourth gear. Now this corner is completely flat out. You do not need to brake in this car. So this is all about chucking it into the corner. So you're gonna see now, as we come to the end of the curb, chucking the car in aggressively into fifth gear, avoid the sausage curb on the right hand side these curbs will kill you in this car so keeping it in fifth gear all the way to the exit and now working our way into this next braking zone which we're going to use the number two board on the right hand side as our reference where we're going to brake so just as we're approaching into the number two board you can see there braking inputs are going in just on that two and now we're going to be concentrating on taking as much speed into this left hand corner as possible so chucking the car in at the end of the curb you can see as the end of the curb approaches we're throwing it in tiny bit of trail braking going into the corner and now you want to clip this left hand curb with your left hand tire and then as you go through here early up shift to fourth gear get that exit speed and now we're going into this left hand corner which is a lot easier in this car now because it's completely flat out with this change of physics so as you come to the number two ball pretty much you're going to chuck this car in pretty much flat out so into this left hand side avoid the sausage curb again just clip the left hand curb with your tire and just carry the speed completely through you do not need to lift it's completely flat out carry the speed on the exit and now you're going to be going into the corkscrew which again braking in between the number four board and the number three board you can see my braking inputs going in here now and we're going to try and keep the car to the right hand side of the track you can see we're braking and turning to the right and now at this point we're going to downshift the second and we're going to really try and attack the green bit of astro on the left hand side so you can see trail braking into the apex and then at this point here straight line in it as much as we can so you really want to attack the curb on the downhill part again to carry the speed on the exit so early up shift to third gear as we come off the curb and now we're going to go almost flat out all the way through this next section again so much grip out of the super formula you do not need to break what we're going to do is upshift the fifth gear and try and hold it to that apex on the left hand side so try and stay as narrow as you can keeping it tight on the apex use the camber to your advantage and now into this right hand corner braking just past that number two board so using the number two board as a reference again we're going to break just past it you can see braking inputs going in there and we're going to really chuck this car into this right hand corner and carry as much speed in fifth gear as we can so stay in fifth gear you see throttle going in again be careful of the sausage curb on the right hand side you do not want to touch that and keep the throttle all the way to the exit and now we're looking for our next braking zone which we're going to use the number three board braking just short of the number three board on the right hand side so as we approach the number three board you can see braking inputs going in there and we're going to downshift quite aggressively into this corner and keep the cars on the right hand side until we're going to chuck it in so down to first gear as we go into first gear 
we're going to start throwing this car into the apex. And again, you want to be careful of that um, sausage curve on the left-hand side. Brief bit of trail braking. Then onto the throttle. Up shift into second gear very early to get the traction. And now working our way down to the finishing line. And we're going to go over the line for a 102.7. Which, again, quite a quite a long way short um, faster than the gold time that is required. So following the guide, you should be able to get that fairly simple. Next up, we have the Zondara Interlagos. So straight away... Looking for that reference, which is the 100 board on the right side. We're going to break pretty much just past it, just almost level, but just slightly past. You can see getting on the brakes nice and early. And now we're going to downshift through the gears into the braking zone, into the apex zone, sorry. So trail braking again, as we're approaching the corner, you're going to see the trail braking inputs going in. And we really want to take quite a tight line through it. So we're going to use the gears to rotate the car down to second gear, down to first gear. That's going to give us a bit of extra rotation. Then back up to second gear and keep your eye on the throttle as we go through the corner. Because we're going to be playing with that throttle all the way through it. Now on this next part, you can really attack the curb. You can see the line we're going to take is over the curb on the right hand side. Cutting a part of the track to get a straighter line through to the next part. So again, use that curb on the throttle. Just be careful you're not too aggressive on the throttle on the curbs. And now working our way through this very long hand left hand corner which we early up shift into fourth gear and again you can see the throttle inputs we're not going completely flat we keep lifting every now and then just to make sure the car doesn't understeer too far wide so just be careful you don't go onto the green pick just all the way to the green part because you will get a penalty next braking zone we're braking short of the 100 ball so almost in between the 150 and the 100 there almost dead in the middle and again downshifting through the gears down to second gear for the rotation as we come into this part you can see as we go to chuck the car in we're going to be downshifting to second gear and you can see that trail braking taking effect all the way through the corner now upshift early to third gear get on the throttle nice and early that will give you good exit speed carrying the speed through this next left hand corner which is completely flat out and then into the technical section at Interlaga. so working our way up here now you can see we're going to be looking to break in between the 100 and the 50 board a little bit closer to the 100 board though so not as close to the 50 as you would in group three for example and then downshift through the gears you can see again we want to take a quite a tight line through this double apex right hand corner so again trail braking into the corner down to third gear holding as much of a tight line as we can so letting the car stay to the right hand side of the track and then gradually putting that throttle in we're not going to be too aggressive just nice and smooth on the throttle again trying to keep your right hand tire to the second part of the apex as much as possible use the full width for the track on the exit as soon as you're onto that curb you're onto the brakes pretty much so tire touches the curb start getting on the brakes nice and early and you're going to downshift through the gears and again trail brake into the apex you can see this is going to rotate the car down to first gear for extra rotation then back up to second gear as you're on the curb to smooth out that exit because you don't want to lose a rear reverse gear acceleration so smoothly 50 percent throttle there as we're going into this next left hand corner and again tiny bit of braking because what this is doing is moving the weight to the front of the car to help rotate the car through this next left hand corner so again a little bit of braking input going in there to rotate the car and then gradually on that throttle 50% throttle all the way up and then 100% throttle as we come out the exit and now this next right hand corner we're going to break extremely early pretty much at the end of that curb on the right hand side we're going to start getting on the brakes because obviously this car is not as good on the brakes as group three cars so you see there nice and early on the brakes and then we're going to downshift through the gears and again using the gears to rotate the car into this tight right hand corner so again, you want to try and concentrate on exit speed and smooth exits. This car really benefits from getting a good exit. So down to first gear. And again, as we get on the power, we're going to upshift the second gear there just to get a smooth exit. 50% throttle. And again, wide line from here. But then be careful on the throttle. So as we're coming through this left-hand corner, you're going to see we're going to put a tiny bit of braking input in there to rotate the weight to the front of the car again. And that'll help get your left-hand tire onto this curb as close as possible. So again, 50%, 60%, 70% throttle. And then 100% when you feel the grips there. Now into the final corner, into Lagos. We're going to use some of the grass on the right-hand side. You can see my right-hand tire is on the grass. Braking just after the curve on the right-hand side also. Nice and early on the brakes. Downshift into second gear. And now we're going to trail brake through to the corner. You're going to see at the tarmac, where the tarmac starts, we're chucking the car in before that point. And then early upshift to third gear here. So that you clip the left-hand tire onto that curb. And you get a nice smooth exit without having to change gear. This will give you, give you really good momentum out of the corner and enable you to easily get this goal time. So now it's just a case of going flat out all the way through to the finishing line. Hold the tight line to the left. So you're going to see to the left-hand side of the track, keeping the car to the left. And again, for this next-hand corner, we're going to take the shortest line to the finishing line, just keeping it to the left and over the line for a 1 minute 28.0, which again is quite a long way short of getting the goal. So you should easily be able to get the goal time following this, that guide there for Interlagos. Now we're up to the final license in this part three. It's Super License 9. 
and it's at Deep Forest in Group 2. So working our way into Turn 1, we're going to be looking for the 100 board on the right-hand side. We're going to be breaking slightly past that 100 board in this car. It's got a lot of grip, this car. So breaking just past there, you can see breaking inputs going in, and we want to take quite a tight line, but keep it to your right. So keeping it to the right and then getting it into the tight line. Now keep your eye on the trail braking and then the gear shift. You're going to see that gear shift down to first gear, rotate the car back up to second gear, on the throttle nice and early, getting really good exit speed, up shift to third gear, and now working away into this pretty tricky section. So this is very tricky. Keep the car to the left hand curve there and then chuck it into this right hand side. Now you're not going to be too aggressive on the breakthrough here. It's just about getting a bit of weight transfer. So as we're coming into the apex, you can see a bit of weight transfer going on with the brakes and keeping that throttle down. And again, as you're coming into this left hand, you're going to get on the brakes and downshift to third gear. So brake inputs going in there, downshift to third, then back on the throttle. And then as we're coming into this corner, you can see just as soon as we're over the curb, we're almost back onto the brakes. So down to second gear, onto the brakes, keep the car as tight to this apex as you can because you want to get on the throttle as early as possible here to carry the speed through the tunnel. So you can use quite a lot of the track on the left-hand side. Bear that in mind. You can use some of that tarmac on the left to help widen the line into this right-hand corner. As soon as you're out of the tunnel, you're almost straight onto the brakes there. You can see onto the brakes, 50% braking. We're not going to go maximum of braking because what all we're doing here is a bit of weight transfer braking through the corner. So again, that's going to give us a line to really accelerate out the exit here. So you can see on that throttle super early to get the exit speed over a bit of the green tarmac on the left-hand side there just to shorten the line a bit and keep the line as smooth as possible. Now into this left-hand corner, which is all about aggression. As you hit the bollard on the right-hand side, almost touching the bollard on the right-hand side, you're going to get on the brakes and start trail braking into this left-hand corner. Now you want to keep the car to the barrier almost. Your barrier is almost a reference for where the apex is. You can see there, keeping it nice and tight to the apex, back up to fourth gear, carry the speed on the exit and now I use this change of tarmac the collar as a reference when we're going to get on the brake so as you approach that change of collar you're going to see we're going to start getting onto the brake so just as we're approaching it now there you can see braking inputs going in and now we're trail braking all the way into this left hand corner again on the throttle nice and early carry as much speed out the exit as possible and this is just completely flat out now so just revving the car out taking as much speed down this straight it's just all about taking the shortest line possible, really. So you don't really need to worry about lines through there. Just take a short line as possible. Now into the next braking zone, we are going to be looking for that 100 board on the right-hand side there. You're going to brake pretty much dead on that or a little bit, tiny bit past it almost. So as we're coming in there, you can see getting on the brakes almost just past it. And now you're going to take quite a wide line here. Keep the car to the right-hand side, downshift through the gears. You're going to go into first gear, trail brake, and now we're going to get the car into the apex. So... As you're approaching Apex, you want to get your left-hand tire within that circle. That's the area you want to be looking to get your left-hand tire. And then rotate the car with the throttle on the exit. And then upshift the second gear once you're at the end of that rev range in first gear. So now it's just completely flat out all the way to the finish. It's just, again, take the shortest line possible, just as you do with Interlagos. Keep the car to the left-hand side of the track. And again, through this left-hand corner, keeping it to the left and all the way over the line. I think we did a 1 minute 21.6. And again, we didn't do too many laps on that one. It was just a few laps to get the gold and to give you a guide. So hopefully that will help you out. Hopefully it helps you get the gold for all of the licenses. Now they're all in there. If you're looking for any of them, they'll all be in the playlist for the super license guide. So yeah, check them out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so and make sure you hit that like button. I'll be back with more videos soon. Thanks again for watching everyone.